All right, we're back with Sandy Lingerfeld on making that perfect bread for Easter. And we do want to show you, you know, earlier she was mixing and wanted to show you about having enough flour to make sure that it wasn't shiny on this or one. Sticky. So you don't want to make it shiny, you don't want it to be sticky. So she just wanted to show you that and see, yes right there. So you want it to be again like a loaf, but I know that we're getting ready to pop this in the oven. So tell us what does our oven need to be on and how long do these go in the oven for? Okay, it's 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, so you want them to obviously look like this before you put them <laughs> in the oven. What's a good indicator to show that they've risen enough though? Usually if it comes to the top of the pan or a little bit over and if you're in a hurry you can force heat it by just putting it on warm in the oven for 10-15 minutes. Okay, alrighty. Well, we're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven so we can try them in just a little bit. And so this oven's been three preheated to 350, right? That one is. Let's try the bottom one. Let's see. Oh, oh no, the bottom, the oven, the top one. Oh, yep, it's the bot, it's the bottom one. And we're All going right. to move that yeah, down. We'll move that one down in just a minute. Yeah. But okay. Yes. And so, does it Let's matter if you put it on the top or the bottom in the oven? Usually, right in the middle. Okay. So we'll go ahead and move those to the middle so we can try those in just a little bit when we come back. But again, we have some that are rising, so hopefully we'll have some more of that to show 